Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you sometimes have trouble falling asleep and dreaming? Yes, sometimes. Well, maybe it's a good thing Roberto can't fall asleep. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what happens when Roberto gets up at night to look outside his window down at the street below. Dreams by Ezra Jack Keats. It was hot. After supper, Roberto came to his window to talk with Amy. Look what I made in school today, a paper mouse. Does it do anything? Amy asked. Roberto thought for a while. I don't know, he said. Then he put the mouse on the windowsill. As it grew darker, the city got quieter. Bedtime, Roberto, called his mother. Bedtime for you too, other mothers called. Good night, Amy. Good night, Roberto. Good night, echoed the parrot. Soon they were all in bed. Someone began to dream. Soon everybody was dreaming, except one person. Somehow Roberto just couldn't fall asleep. It got later and later. Finally, he got up and went to the window. What he saw down in the street made him gasp. There was Archie's cat. A big dog had chased him into a box. The dog snarled. He's trapped, thought Roberto. What should I do? Then it happened. His pajama sleeve brushed the paper mouse off the windowsill. It sailed away from him. Down it fell, turning this way and that, casting a big shadow on the wall. The shadow grew bigger and bigger. and bigger. The dog howled and ran away. The cat dashed across the street and jumped through Archie's open window. Wow, wait till I tell Archie what happened, thought Roberto. That was some mouse. He yawned and went back to bed. Morning came and everybody was getting up, except one person. Roberto was fast asleep, dreaming. Bear's wondering, do you think Roberto made a little mouse that did something big? <laughs> a lot of yeses, Bear. Remember when Amy asked, does it do anything? Do you think Roberto ever dreamed his paper mouse would do something to help his friend's cat? Bear wonders if it's easier for Roberto to dream of amazing things now. What do you think? Bear hopes you come back soon for more adventures in creating and dreaming. Bye for now. Please subscribe.